Well, hello everyone. It is a color and chemistry day here at the Montero at home. And today our color is purple. I have a purple cabbage here and our chemistry is gonna be with cabbage juice. We're gonna be using cabbage juice as a pH indicator to tell us what other chemicals in our kitchen are either acidic and sour or basic and bitter. Now, to do that, we need to turn this cabbage from the grocery store into cabbage juice. How I did that is I chopped up some cabbage and I took it right here, chopped it up and I added it into my saucepan and then I boiled it in my pot for a few minutes and then set it to cool. You can also use a microwave to do that as well. And then when it was done, my cabbage, I drained it out and I had this beautiful glass of boiled red cabbage juice. So what I'm gonna do with this cabbage juice is use it in an experiment. Let me show you how. For this experiment, you're going to need an experiment tray. And I don't have a science experiment tray at home, but I do have an ice cube tray. And into this ice cube tray, I'm gonna put some of my cabbage juice. Now, if I can't pour it without making a mess, so I'm gonna use either a spoon or a straw to move the cabbage juice into my experiment tray. To use a straw, I'm gonna put my finger on top and pull it out and I get juice right there. So put it in, finger on top, pull it out, and I'm gonna put some juice into some of my experiment tray. Now this experiment tray has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, three times five, it has 15 experiments I can do. But they always start with cabbage juice. Now, once I have some cabbage juice in my experiment tray, I can add some other chemicals to see what happens. Now, the chemicals I want you to start with are, oh, baking soda. I use this for cookies at home. And the baking soda, you can add either with a spoon or I like to cut a straw with an angle on it. And then I can use it like a spoon, scoop up just a small amount put it in one of my experiment holes, stir it up, and oh, that was unexpected. Now, once you do that, you could also use another chemical. I have some vinegar right here from my kitchen. With that one, again, you can use a spoon or you could use that same straw. I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna move some vinegar into one of my experiment, oh. My, well, this is gonna be fun. You're gonna have a blast with this. That is unexpected. What I want you to do is to make observations. How does your cabbage juice change when you add different chemicals to it? Because cabbage juice is purple when its pH is neutral like water. But if you add an acid to it and one of these chemicals is an acid, it will turn hot pink. And if you add the opposite of an acid, a base to it, it will turn blue. So here's your experiment. Get a cabbage, boil it up, and experiment with the juice. Test a few different kitchen chemicals you, you have at home, and we'll see if you can use it to tell which is an acid and which is a base. Happy experiment experimenting today. Check out the activity sheet at home to take notes on and your last challenge, what to do with all of the rest of your cabbage? Well, chop it up and have it for lunch. Have a great time doing some color chemistry at home.